Today on the Philly Toll Podcast, we are going to discuss the Eagles Friday injury report. And I know what everybody's wondering. Will Jalen Hurts play? As of now, on Friday, he's questionable for Week 18. But Nick Sirianni did say some good things. Plus, we saw some good things from Jalen Hurts. We discussed that. More New York Giants news. And I want to get into the playoff picture. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Tall Podcast, and today we got some things to get into, but before we do that, Eagle Nation, help your boy out, hit that like button, subscribe, we're about 105 away from 30k, ding the bell, so you know when these videos come out, or when we go live, which we'll be going live tomorrow with LB and two special guests, also, click the link in the description. It's a free app where we can talk Eagle News behind the YouTube scenes. And we're doing a giveaway in there in the next couple days. So join and chop it up Eagle style. Let's get into the news. So Friday injury report, Giants-Eagles is out. We know, we talked about Jalen Hurts being questionable. But we're going to get deeper into that. But let's look at the other players. Zach McPherson, illness, full practice. Miles Sanders with that knee. Another full practice. We know Josh Sweat with his neck did not practice. Janarius Robinson, ankle, did not practice. Avante Maddox, Lane Johnson, and Sean Bradley all did not practice. And of course, Jalen Hurts, right shoulder, questionable tag with two limited practices. But as we talked about yesterday, the practices ramped up. He did not go through a Wednesday walkthrough when he didn't play the Saints game. He did not run through the ball security drill when he didn't play the Saints game. And he's been doing a lot more. Eagles list Jalen Hurts as limited participant in practice today. That's limited Wednesday, limited Thursday, limited Friday. But he's done more. Anyways, he is listed as questionable with a sprained shoulder. Nick Sirianni did say, though, he was trending to play on Sunday. We've heard reports from Ian Rappaport. We heard reports from Mike Garofalo. We heard Nick Sirianni talk about trending upwards. I think he can play. I think he will play. But for how long? Get the rust off. Although A.J. Brown said he was slinging a rock. Same with Dallas Goddard. Get the rust off for sure because after this game, if we do it right, we will have a bye week. That means you sat off for two, and a half, two weeks, you came back and played, and now you're going to sit another week. But if we're up 17-3, if we're dog-walking the New York Giants, which really might happen, not because we're that much better, although we're that much better, but because New York really came out with this key news. Uh, Mike Garofalo said the Giants and Brian Dayball have kept their cards close to the vest all week. But yes, the expectation is key players will be sitting out against the Eagles Sunday. It was first reported by Ryan uh, DeLevy. Now reported by Mike Garofalo, Ryan D tried to say something like, although Daniel Jones won't play, Tyron Taylor got something to prove. Huh? Maybe, but not against us. Not when we have everything on the line that we set out to get since September. Honestly, since August, the training camps, the offseason, the much-anticipated Eagles 2022-2023 season is coming to an end. With one thing on our mind, get the number one seed. Get the number one seed. Now, again, if the Giants played their starters, I would be nervous with the way the coach and staff and Minshew has played against the Saints. I'd be nervous. But if there is a scenario where Jalen Hurts doesn't play because the coach staff is very, very nervous, maybe his shoulder's worse than we know. Whatever it is, if he doesn't play, my level of concern is not that high because it's not the Giants starters versus a team that couldn't beat the Saints. It's the Giants backups versus a team that beat themselves as much as the Saints beat them. And I don't see that happening again. Jalen Hurts needs to get snaps just for the rust, just because, 
and I want to see physically with my eyes that he is good in the regular season. So I got that comfort level going into the playoffs because it was up here. It took a little hit, but I know, and you know who the real Eagles are. And that revolves around Hurts and the amazing stuff that these players do with Hurts, for Hurts. And yes, people want to come at our coaching staff. I said this earlier in the week. When things are going good, the coaching staff excels. Well, Mike, every coaching staff would excel if it's going good. Not necessarily. They know how to keep things going good. But they do not adjust well, and they got to get better with reading the room. Bro, if a team is bottom half against the run, you start with that. Now, let me just say this, because it's not as black and white as people think. Teams that are bad against the run, they're, they know they're bad against the run. So they might come into the game saying, Philly going to run against us. We are going to stack and stack and stack the box. That makes the run defense better, and it makes us abandon our strategy or not run the ball. I understand that. But the simple fact is this. If I know, if you know, and if everybody knows that this defense can be gotten if we run the ball on them, we'll do that. At least start there. See. If the bad Russian defense is selling out to stop it, it's going to open your pass more. It's going to show us, and you're going to feel comfortable saying, all right, now we got to make the executive decision to play action, to run outside, to, to dump some screens off, to throw the ball deep, to air it out. But I don't see that. We should have ran against the Bears first. We should have ran against the Saints first. If it don't work, then go by, go do what you need to do. Change it up. But you come out with the opposite game plan. And again, I just don't understand that at times. Jalen Hurts changes it. He makes plays at the line of scrimmage. He does things with his legs to keep the defense honest. But that's all I'm saying. I'm, I understand that the Saints said, wow, we can't stop the run. Let's sell out. But you didn't start that way. You did not start that way. The, the coaching was at an all-time low. You, pl- you, you, you put Jalen Hurts' game plan in there for Gardner Minshew. You didn't even help him out. Even though Minshew was bad, you didn't help him out. Now. I want to get to this playoff picture because I honestly think this is how it's going to be. I believe the Eagles are going to get the dub. I believe the Eagles will get the number one seed. Now, do I really think it's going to be like this for the AFC? I'm not sure, but let's go over it all. Starting with the NFC, the most important one. So if the Eagles get the bye week, that's cool. I believe it. Y'all believe it. We chilling. Wild card weekend. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, led by Tom Brady versus the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys are the better team, for sure. But they will be going on the road to Tampa. And even though the GOAT team is playing bad, you never really want to play the GOAT in the playoffs. Plus, fun fact, the Dallas Cowboys have never, ever beaten Tom Brady. They are O. And whatever, I think it's 0-5 or 0-6. In the long 20-year career, as a Patriot, as a Buck, the Cowboys never beat Tom Brady. So you got that. You got the Cowboys going (laughs) all the time. And you got the GOAT over there. The reason to believe that maybe they can knock him off. The Dallas Cowboys is the better team. But let me know in the comment section who wins that matchup. Then you got the Giants in Minnesota. Minnesota is the better team, but they, like the Cowboys, tend to just choke as well. I wouldn't put it past the Giants to maybe make some noise in that first round and, and knock off the Minnesota. Will I pick them right now? Probably not. But I, I, I'm, I'm looking at that game. And you got San Fran and Seattle. I think San Fran is legit on defense. I think they got, still, got some weapons on offense. I think they beat Seattle. So then you're looking at Philly versus Dallas or Tampa, and then you got the winner of these two games. But it's just interesting. It's it's about that time. And that's why I want to pull it up, and I want y'all to comment. I love it. First of all, drop the muscle emoji in the chat. Y'all been killing it. Everybody who drops that, shout out to y'all. Plus, literally give me your thoughts on the Giants starters, Jalen Hurts, the Eagles, the playoff pitcher. I love hearing from y'all. Now, looking at the AFC, KC get it. Jacksonville versus the Chargers. 
Listen, Dougie P's been playing late. Dougie P. We'll see. I think the Chargers probably win that game, though. Cincinnati, Baltimore. I might go Cincinnati. Um, L Jack is still suffering some stuff. Buffalo, New England. Probably going to go Buffalo. But I like these matchups. I, I like the first round matchup. I think that uh, Tampa Dallas could be good. The Giants, I think that this game could be good. I think this game could be good. Probably not. I think this, I, I, like, I like the Cincinnati-Baltimore. Division rivals, they know each other. This will be the third time playing. NFL playoff bracket 2022-2023 style. Let me know your thoughts. But I need, I need the Eagles to be right here. I need that number one spot. We need it. And just for good luck. Because I won't, I'm, we're going to be streaming tomorrow Goat Talk with two special guests. Find out when you watch it. But I want to get some roots. I want to get some flowers in here. Because we don't do it during the videos that much anymore. It's for the live play-by-play. -play, but some of y'all don't watch my live play-by-play. -play. Whether you don't want to be, you know, you want to watch it in peace or not. But let's get some roots and flowers. Keep that roots going, baby! Whoa, 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 hold up. <laughs> can't let no static. We can't get the static. Keep that roots going, baby! <laughs> roots on three! One, two, three! Roots! <laughs> One more game, and then playoff pitcher. Again, me showing the playoff pitcher is not me just forgetting that we play the Giants, but it's time to start looking at it and seeing some things. We're going to talk about it in depth when all these teams are locked in to their category, but I wanted to, you know, set it out there for a little bit. We love the flower girl, for sure. Let's see what some people said on Twitter. I don't know why, but somebody said Colts. I don't know what that means. Colts not even in it. But shout out to everybody in the building. Uh, you got the Lions winning in Green Bay. Golf can't play in the cold. Uh, give me the pack instead of Seattle. Okay. The pack instead of Seattle. We'll see. We'll see. Shout out to everybody in the building. Until next time, y'all know what time it is. We out.